What is up gang, it's your boy Chavo here back with another banger. I'm making this video on how to connect your PlayStation 4 to your iPad. You see it here. All right, so in this video, I will be showing you guys how I did it. I've seen plenty of videos and they forget to mention one thing that gives you, that gives you know gives you a headache when you're trying to do it. So 90% of you guys probably did it. And every time you go back to your profile, it kicked you out. I'm about to show you guys how I got past that. You already know, here we go. You already know you have to make another account for you can be able to use your share play on it. But what they don't tell you is that if you already have your PlayStation account, which would be this. If you have your main account already set up on the share play, no matter what you do, even if you have the other account, if you already have this main account set up on the share play, it's not going to work. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a whole nother account like I did. I made a whole another account watch i'm going to switch user well it's not going to show it on here but i did switch user then i created a whole account you got to make a brand new psn name you have once you do all that you got to make an email for it verify it on the computer verify it then get on that account as your spare account and you're gonna make you're gonna link that second account to your to the share play manually like register it manually on here like once you go on here you go to settings you're gonna go to remote play and then you're gonna get at you're gonna hit add device once you do it it's gonna give you a code then you're gonna go into come on dude you're gonna go into your iPad. Since mine is already done. Let me see. Come on. You see how I was on my spare account, logged in on the iPad. So you're going to go to the little settings gear right here, and then you're going to hit when, you know, you're going to sign out. And right now I'm signed in, so you're going to, let me just do it. You're going to put that, your second account, you're going to put that information on here. Because what happens if you sign in here, it's going to sign into your original PlayStation account. So no matter what you do. Hey, you can have three remotes or whatever. It's still going to sign into your account because you're signed in on here. So you got to put the spare PlayStation account on here and then you can access your main account. Once you set it up on here, boom, once it's set up on here, you're going to have it linked in. It's going to ask me to sign in. You sign in, put the info, boom, link it into your spare account. And then once it links in, you're gonna turn on your PlayStation remote, boom, and then you're gonna go to your account because it's gonna sign in, it's gonna be signed into the other account. And it's gonna work, you guys. I guarantee you. Just don't try to do what the other people, you know, did. Make a spare account, set the share play on that spare account, and then switch user and it will work. It's your boy Chavo. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, show love. I got this bomb content coming for y'all. Y'all already know. Game.